Hi there, smart drivers in Madrid. We're gonna do some roundabouts for you today and show you how to do those. We'll find some multi-lane roundabouts as well. Lots of looking, shoulder checking. The interesting thing about driving in Spain is people push their way through places. Lights are green. There's very little jaywalking here. I think they know that they're going to get run over. Multi-lane, there's three lanes in this roundabout. And some of these roundabouts also have traffic lights in them. You can see right here, there's a traffic light. And you stay in your lane until you get to the exit that you want. Now, if you do need to change lanes, you push over as this truck in front of us is signaling. Everybody waited for him. Shoulder checking, and you can see that the traffic crawls. They're pushing in, but there's very little signaling and people are just moving around. And again, I'm managing my space in front of my vehicle. I'm close, but I'm not as close as people, the other people are. And I'm gonna stay in the right lane so other traffic can move around me. Speed limit's 50 kilometers an hour here, which is 30 miles an hour. The other interesting piece about here is I can hear the emergency vehicle. I have no idea where it is. Oh, there's the emergency vehicle. It was a police. But you can see that the traffic doesn't move over here the same way that it does in the United States and in Canada that it's required to do. And a third, approximately a third of the vehicles here are motorcycles. And you can see they do that lane splitting where they move up between the spaces of the cars and get to the front of the line and then take off. The other piece, this is a three cylinder Romana car and as soon as they take my foot off the clutch and have it in neutral, the engine shuts off. It's part of pollution controls here in Europe because of the number of vehicles. Put the clutch back in, put it back into gear, the, the engine starts right back up again. Now the automatic shutoff on the motor doesn't work as well as one would think. Like right now I'm sitting here and it's in neutral. I have my foot off the clutch, but the car didn't shut off. The engine didn't shut off for whatever reason. Now this is an interesting configuration on a roundabout. It's a roundabout with the main road through the center of it. So we can essentially turn around and go back the way we came. And distracted driving is as alive and well in Madrid as it is in other places. This woman is on her phone texting beside me. And we have a red light, so there's no right turn on a red light here. And I haven't confirmed that yet, but I haven't seen anybody else make a right on a red turn. And this person, this driver in front of me is not making a right on a red. So I'm pretty sure that you're not allowed to do that here in Madrid. And if you look at the video of me in New York City with my friend Sam taking the mock driver's test in, in uh, the Bronx there, I failed that driver's test for that exact reason that you can't make a right on a red turn. I'll put a card up in the corner for you, have a look at that. And this is the other interesting thing about Madrid. It's, there's, a, there's a traffic light right there, we waited for that. We come around the corner and there's another traffic light right here for pedestrians. And then you have to obey that light. So it really slows down traffic. And the road's gonna narrow here, so I'm not gonna get in up and beside this big truck. And the red light be before the roundabout here, controlling traffic and movement through the roundabout. Merging, picking my spot and going. Now, I want to go back the way I came, but I need to figure out how to get turned around here. So that's the other thing about driving around in cities. If you don't know where you, you're going, you want to get your landmarks. Of course, that's closed. Sunglasses off. And again, you know, maintaining your space in front, despite what everybody else is doing in terms of social driving. Same thing here in Madrid for the traffic light's going to turn. It's flashing green. 
for the pedestrian crosswalk. So I know mine is going to turn green here. It's gone red. My light turns. And the, again, the other thing you have to be careful of here. That car went over to the other lane there is the light around the corner, like right around the corner. So again, the light's green here, and there's a light right around the corner here. So when you come around the corner, you gotta stop for this light. Of course, that's a bus lane, so we need to go into the center lane. And the taxi cab is right behind me. They're not honking at me, but yeah, the taxi cab proceeded. So we were good on the yellow. So that's a sample of driving around Madrid. There weren't as many roundabouts as I thought there would be, however, they have an interesting system here where they have a big roundabout and then the main road drives through the center of it. And if you want to turn or you want to move left, you've got to go around the roundabout, which is actually safer because you're reducing the points of conflict uh, in the intersection. And this is how close they are. The bus is like, I didn't quite get over far enough. <laughs> the bus it just pulled right up beside me. And of course, this is the way it is in Europe. Spaces are tight, it's close. But at one and the same time, there seems to be a very good organization of traffic. That people obey the rules, there's very little jaywalking. So there's a sample of driving in Madrid, smart drivers, it's closer. There's rules, lots of traffic lights, roundabouts with the main road going through the large roundabout. That's the way you make a left, which reduces points of conflict, it's a little bit safer. So have fun, enjoy your trip in Europe, and remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day, bye now.